Hey, welcome back to another review. Thanks to Till from Germany, who sent me quite a few films, including Zone of the Dead. And the only th two things to note about this film, really, one, it has Ken Ferre, and I'm a big fan of the original Dawn of the Dead. I enjoy the remake as well, but George Romero's Dawn of the Dead is my favorite zombie film of all time. It's one of my favorite films of the 1970s. Ken Foray, I wish he got to be in more films. I know he was in a crappy bit part in Rob Zombie's Halloween. He was in Texas Chainsaw Master 3. And that's an easily better movie than this. As I hope he gets to star in another zombie film. This came out in 2009, give or take. And the other note is this was filmed in Serbia. I still take this over a Serbian film, but it's just a very generic, poorly made, horrible shaky cam zombie movie. It's cheap. Ken Foray, he was the only one that kept me worth going through the entire movie. Sometimes zombies in this film roar like fucking lions. The beginning of the film, they find this grave of bodies in Yugoslavia, 1985, and one guy tells the other, this guy cut himself and uh, on one of the bones and he died quickly. And then you find out that guy's a zombie, and this was really silly. He does this mbop, bop, 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 mbop, bop, bop, with his head like mbop, kind of like a, and then goes to the camera like an mbop move, and. Cuts to the credits. I'm like, is that really how this movie's going to begin? An umbop and a fucking a lunge and opening credits. And then it's present day. It's pretty much the plot. Ken Foray. He's about ready to retire. He's an Interpol agent. He has this female rookie, and then this guy who's been his partner for a while, and the three of them are supposed to escort this prisoner. And after this, Ken Ferrari's character will retire. Meanwhile, this, for some reason, this tanker of this toxic green gas comes by this train station and parks in the middle of it for some fucking reason. No reason at all. And these, these drunk soldiers come by, and, again, I keep saying, for some reason, take the gun, and then, like, the guard there at the train station is trying to stop him, and they sh accidentally shoot the the tanker, and it's green gas. I'm like, great, like, Return of Living Dead? Turns them all into zombies, except one guy, the professor, who then escapes. And I'm like... I'm watching this and I'm thinking, man, when I do this review, people don't ask, well, how the hell did this all come together? And all, I'm like, don't ask me. I didn't make the fucking thing. And this also does one of those annoying things where anytime a zombie's on screen, especially when it's attacking someone, it does this shaky cam shit, which is horrendous. Because you can't understand what the fuck is going on. I don't understand why they do this. Doing this is not making something intense. It's giving someone a fucking headache. Or a migraine. I hate when... I really want to ask these directors, when they do the Shaky Tam, why they do it. I really want to ask, when has Shaky Tam been a good thing? Someone tell me in the comments section. When has shaky cam been a good thing? I'll just use it sometimes in a found footage movie because it's... That's the name of the game with those movies. I'm talking about an actual movie you're filming. What's the excuse? How is it good? When has it been good? Not in the Bourne films, because they fucking suck ass. And one of the reasons is the shitty shaky cam. 
And sometimes I can watch movies and deal with it if they have a lot more going on with it. A lot more going on. For example, I like Battle Los Angeles. A lot of people don't. I do. But I can deal with it because I like the simple idea of soldiers versus aliens. I like the special effects. I really liked Aaron Eckhart in the film. I thought he did a really good job. I thought it went at a fast pace. It kept me involved. The other actors, they didn't have much character development, but I liked their presence, like Michelle Rodriguez and some other guys. But then you compare it to this, every single other actor sucked. And the characters were the rookie cop who... Of course, at the beginning, she's not going to be able to do much, but then by the end, she can kick ass. The prisoner, who is a man of few words, as a lame version of Napoleon from Assault and Prison 13. The original, the good one. The professor that really doesn't do anything other than be scared, and then pontificates at one point and makes Ken Foray shoot him. Because he won't go for some reason. This this guy that didn't need to be in the fucking movie. First of all, that professor guy didn't need to be in it. But then this other guy, this holy man who is named, I shit you not, Apocalypse in the credits. And maybe that's why in certain territories this is called Apocalypse of the Dead. And the cover makes it seem as if that guy's the star. That's not the cover I'm going to put in the thumbnail, but if you look up... Apocalypse of the Dead, the alternate title of this, it's like the back of that guy's head, and he's in the movie, and he just gives these shitty Bible scriptures and kills zombies. And you get some bad dubbing. And that's the thing, some of these people have really bad dubbing, at least I hope they're really bad dubbing, and then some of them are just them trying to get through the English language. And hey, I don't understand if it's not their first language, I can understand that. But you know what? Maybe just have them speak their natural dialect and just put fucking subtitles. Have Tim Frey be able to understand if he's living in Serbia and been there for so long, maybe he has a hand on the language. You just put it on line, yeah, I understand. I've been you know, I've been on this job for twenty years here and I've had to learn the language. You could throw in a few fucking exposition lines to explain that. If it gives me more natural performances. And Ken Frey is just... He is the star of the film. It's not like he's just in it for five minutes. But it's just... He's so much better than this. Like, he's... His acting is subdued, but even with that, it's better than anybody else in this movie. Way better than the guy talking Bible passages who sees a nun puking blood and just kills zombies. It's like they stuck him in there for, well, we need to cut away to a guy killing zombies. I'm like, just have Ken Frey killing those fucking zombies. Shit. So Ken Frey and his team, they hit a guy with a car, they followed blood. As a zombie with guts hanging out. Once in a while he did a decent makeup effect. Later on when they're in this police station. And they're trying to turn on these generators. They fight a zombie's head with a spinal column. It's kind of wiggling around. I thought that was a decent effect. And there's like one decent scene in this movie. <coughs> that I wish was in a better movie with Ken Frey. It's these zombies, they're on the ground. For some reason, it seems like they're sleeping. And Ken, people don't know what's going on. Ken Frey doesn't know what's going on either. So he goes, you know what, I'm going to walk through it. And if they wake up, I'm going to become bait and lead them away so you guys can get away. <clears throat> And in that scene, he actually does a Dawn of the Dead moment. Where, the way they filmed it, he's like looking this way at them, and then he literally turns the camera. 
but apparently he's supposed to be looking at the group. But from us, he's looking at the camera, and he's like looking at the zombies, like, what was the line of dialogue? You know, this this old crazy, you know, this old crazy man you know, told us one time that one day hell's going to overthrow, and the dead will rise forever. And I'm like. <laughs> I just, hey, we got Kim Frey's dad. You can't say when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth or we'll get sued. So write a line pretty much like that. <laughs> and there's even a joke in the midst of it before that where after they escape the police station and one guy goes, let's go to a shopping mall. And Kim Frey goes, no, they, they would get in anyway. But this one scene I don't mind where you have zombies look like they're asleep and Kim Frey's are it's in the daytime and he's walking in between them wonder if they don't get up or not and then this zombie like a lead zombie comes out with his contamination suit and roars and then these zombies start getting up and Tim Furry has to run for it and if that was with a better director and a better writer and a more competent production that scene could have been really something like, to me, it's the best scene in the movie. Because I like the idea behind it, and Ken Frey being in the middle of that, but should have been a much better movie. And even that scene could have been better, better handled with more competent directors and writers. And you could have gotten some real suspense out of that scene. When are they going to wake up? Are they going to wake up? Are they going to wake up here? I mean, the rest of the film, there's a lot of boring yak 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 don't talk bad fucking dialogue. I think that's the thing with, there's so many goddamn zombie films come out, like, almost every fucking week. And I, I think, honestly, the problem for me with a lot of them, even if they say they're dumb, we're just dumb zombie movies, they think they're making art. What I mean by that is, they get in these conversations and they think they're making a pre almost like a pretentious bullshit movie. It's like, how about you make a movie with barely any dialogue and just have a lot of action and zombie ass kicking with good practical effects, get some capable actors in the lead, a fast pace, but no, we gotta stop and talk and talk about nothing and then this dialogue it's like they so badly want to do the George Romero dialogue, but George Romero handled that well in Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead. Here, no. And when they get to the police station, it's like, okay, they're going to do a song in Precinct 13 with zombies, but even that's handled piss poorly. One guy they know has been bit. They just wait until the last minute to shoot him in the head. They find other folks, like the, some teens and the professor. Once in a while, cuts away to that fucking holy guy, apocalypse killing. Hell, this one time he shoots a zombie on the ground with a shotgun, and when the head blows up, it catches on fire! It literally catches on, like the head is on the ground, it blows up, and then it's all on fire. I didn't know when you shoot people in the head, it ca they catch on fucking fire. Well, I guess maybe zombies' blood is flammable. Maybe there's just a lot of fucking hot air. You shitty dialogue. You smell a fear. Yeah? Well, you smell a sweat. I'm like, yeah, exactly, sweat. From the crack of my ass, movie. Sweat from the crack of my ass. That's why this movie fucking stinks. No, it doesn't stink because I actually know how to clean my ass, unlike this movie. This movie needs his ass clean. It needs a fucking enema. It needs a better director and better writer and more competent production. You waste Ken Frey as the lead of a zombie film, and that sucks. They get the generators open, and by doing that, the 
they turn on the generators, the, the shutters open, there's some shooting. Uh, the stupid survivor tries to get out with this barricade, she gets bit to death. This one guy, the prisoner, he does this trying to be cool, jump and shoot, but I swear it looks like he didn't hit a fucking zombie. Like, huh, the boo 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 But I didn't see any zombies getting hit, so that was like a pointless move. It's like, let me try to be cool, because I think I'm in John Woo. And then the professor won't leave for some stupid reason, so Ken Frey shoots. He makes Ken Frey shoot him. They see at the police station, that's where you get that scene with a bunch of zombies on the ground. Ken Frey doing his Dawn of the Dead moment. Leads the zombies away from the group. And he's shooting them, fighting them, shoving them. Fucking shaky cam. Gets on this train. The holy guy arrives shooting, shoots a bazooka, provides the rookie cop and the prisoner weapons. They're shooting zombies with shaky cam. Shaky cam being annoying for some stupid fucking reason. Kim Frey stuck in the train, opens the window, goes up. And it seems as if it's leading with Ken Frey and almost this lead zombie, the contamination guy, to have a battle. Just like he's climbing on top of the train and that guy, zombie's climbing on top of the train. No. Ken Frey just then jumps down. The prisoner gives him a gun. He shoots a zombie. And then the prisoner is the one who's like gets the machete or sword, whatever. And then... Oh, it's going to be this big battle because this is the contamination zombie. It's like a lead zombie. No, it just cuts his head off. I'm like, wow, I, I thought it would be a lot more to it than that. I thought Ken Frey was going to fight it or it would be like this battle, a struggle. No. Seems like everything's okay and they let the prisoner go and the holy guy fucks off. The Ken Frey and the girl walk away. The movie ends, and then amidst of that, the one of the teens was a guy who was a chicken shit asshole who got on a boat, and then left this other woman to get eaten. And then in the middle, credits cuts this guy <clears throat> for a zombie to grab him, and they go in the water, and that guy dies. I just leave, leave room for a sequel because I guess there was supposed to be a sequel to this called Wrath of the Dead with Ken Frey. But I guess people found out how shitty this film was and they said fuck that and thus there was no sequel. No sequel for you. Last action hero style. Ken Frey I like. There's a couple of decent, halfway decent makeup effects. The zombie makeup I've seen a lot worse. I really have. And that one scene where all the zombies seem like they're sleeping, he's, Ken Frey's walking through them, is a decent scene. That's all I can say positive about it. It's bad shaky cam, poor pacing, it looks cheap. The shaky cam was annoying, the dialogue was abysmal, the acting from everyone else was terrible. The, at times there was dubbing, that was really bad. The film at times slowed to a crawl when they were just talking and talking about nothing. The holy guy, he did not need to be in the film. He could have been easily cut out and you could have, hell, you could have just had Ken Frey killing zombies and then when they get to the police station, them have them load up on guns. Or hell, have someone load up on guns, he is broken off from the rest of the group. It's like, he has all the guns, where is he? And then you get to see where Ken Frey's walking through him, and then after that, then that guy is able to come back, here, here's some guns for you. I had to, you know, make my way around, and they think, you do hell, you could be the prisoner. You think the prisoner left them, but no, he's a decent guy, get a better actor for that part. He comes back and gives him the guns and has some good practical effects of zombies has been blown up but no just boring dull piss poor shaky cam and most a lot of bad acting and terrible dialogue
and the, the shooting zombie stuff isn't fun when it's fucking doing this. So I feel bad for Ken Foray being wasted in this bullshit movie. So thanks for watching Zone of the Dead. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.